So hi, this is Eric the Flute Maker, and uh, it's September, and that means a lot to me because September is the month that I began making flutes. And why is this September so important to me? Because this September makes 50 years of flute making. So um, been in quarantine, even got the quarantine beard. And to celebrate, I've created for the last three weeks a whole bunch of flute sets and I'm giving away the money. So I was recently at St. Simon's Island and saw great flute making bamboo and got permission from the Land Trust Foundation and the steward of the land actually came out and held the bamboo as I cut it and I told uh, I told them that this would be used to help raise funding for flute maker ministries and our 266 kids bringing provision to their homes. So that was the intention of the flute set you're about to receive. So the story basically is that my wife Lynn and I were invited to do some theater uh, in Nicaragua in uh, 2006 and we hooked up with a gentleman who was rescuing kids from a, a garbage dump and we were able to build them a children's home and now one of the kids from the garbage dump is our ministry driver. So um, all of a sudden uh, the 10 kids from the garbage dump and, and the staff, everybody knew someone with special needs and that represented about 10 children that we began to bring food to but in time that has now grown to 266 and because last year we had a well actually the last few years we've been losing the more fragile children to um, pneumonia so our team on the ground decided instead of delivering food once a month they would visit them more often and as they began to do this campaign of visiting them they began to be more aware of their needs for instance uh, beds um, a, a, a hand cranked um, food grinder and if the home had electricity a blender so the child could eat softer food, uh, a mosquito net, um, tables and chairs and uh, when you start looking at that to 266 uh, different children that represents uh, the fact that I need to do something to help uh, help them and we've come up since uh, 2020 already with about a third of the needs being met. So during this uh, 2020 Mercy Provision campaign, um, on the way home from Georgia with uh, bamboo to make Mercy flute sets or mission flute sets, uh, I stopped at another very cool clump and uh, brought some other bamboo with us. And uh, and for the last three weeks, I've been making these flutes, and here they are, ready to go. And if you'd like to help us do what uh, God has laid on our heart to do, um, you'll be uh, blessed with uh, 50 years experience of exotic flutes that I'm sure you're gonna love. So let me get one and play it for you. So let's start out with the meditation flute. This is the St. Simon's Collection. seventh century oriental flute. Inspired by the Japanese shakuhachi, which was end blown and that side blown. My new Insen flute inspired by 1600s Koto music. First time really being released in numbers to my public harmonic minor scale, more of the European uh, Renaissance feel.
an Arabian flute for your Arabian nights. little major scale to copy tunes. Major scale to copy, my little Chinese flute. And almost the last one is the Jiahu crane flute from an archaeological dig of a wing bone flute uh, found in Henan, China in a community that were potters. Those two holes are tuning holes, and the last we're throwing in from uh, this clump of bamboo uh, in St. Simons, Georgia, is the bird flute. So you can pop it, click it, gargle, hum, and use the thumb. So that represents the St. Simons collection, one of many collections that we are providing right now to raise funds for Flute Maker Ministry in the 2020 Mercy Campaign. Thanks for stopping by. And I would say uh, uh, come celebrate the 50 year anniversary with exotic flutes that are great and don't wait uh, till the 100 year anniversary. It might be too late. God bless.